Let's have a look at iClone's Face Puppet tool. With our character selected in iClone, we're going to go to the Modify panel, and you're going to see under Facial a button for Face Puppet. Let's pick a profile for our character. I'll pick Mason, and I'm going to click the eraser here to erase all the selections. Now I'm going to left click each eyeball and hit Preview, then tap the spacebar. And you can see that the eyeballs move around as you move the mouse. Just tap the spacebar a second time to stop the preview. Now I'm going to hit record and actually go through the animation and animate the eyes. So now the character is literally a puppet. I'm just moving my mouse back and forth to adjust the position of the eyes. And as soon as I'm done, I'll hit the spacebar. In the timeline, you'll see an expression clip appear as soon as I stop. I'll clear the selections in Face Puppet, turn on Orientation, and hit Preview. And you can see now we can animate the head moving about. Now, there is a small checkbox called Blend Data on Next Recording in the Face Puppet window. You want to make sure that that is checked before you start recording. Now, I can go ahead and hit Record, and we can animate the head moving. And because Blend Data on Next Recording is checked, it will still save the eye animation we made earlier. So again, I'm just puppeting the character by using the motion of the mouse. I hit the space bar and it stops recording. I'll click on the eraser just to make sure everything is unselected. Select the mouth. Now I have these options for the mouth. I'm choosing one that shows the lip going up in the corner there. And once I'm done previewing it, we'll go ahead and record it. So I hit record run through the animation, and use the mouse to puppeteer the character's lip. Now you've probably guessed it on your own, but this is a really fun way to do animation. And as soon as the sequence is finished, hit the space bar. So now I'm just going to keep doing this on different areas of the face. I'm going to deselect the lips, select the area around the mouth, pick one of the lower options, Go ahead and preview it. You can see what that's doing. Decided that's fine, I'll record it. Now several areas on the face puppet window have options beneath the main image. You can pick any of these white icons for different varieties of movement for face puppetry. All right, that's finished. Now I'm deselecting everything. I'll scrub through the animation just to check it out. Now let's pick the jaw, hit preview. You can see what this does when you're previewing. Go ahead and hit record and puppet the jaw animation through the sequence. That's looking pretty good. All right, next clear the selection and let's do the eyebrows. Preview it. You can see what it does. Want to move the mouse up and down. Hit record. Make sure I'm on the first frame. Hit record. And puppet the eyebrows. And I want to make sure I keep it somewhat subtle, not too extreme. All right, that's done. Let's reset the selection and select the eyelids. Hit preview. And you can see here we can actually make the character blink. Make sure we're on the first frame. Hit record. Now I can open and close his eyes while we're recording. And again, I'm trying to keep it somewhat subtle. And we're done. Now I'm going to pick another one of the eye close options here. Preview it. It's going to make the eye close a little more extreme. Try this one. All right, let's record that. And we're just building on top of the previous eye close motions that we already recorded. That's looking better. Now we can clear this selection. 
let's select the cheeks and the nostril area. Preview. That might be a little much. Try just the nostrils. Preview. Go back to the first frame, hit record, and record this. And animate our grimacing nostrils. And again, I'm using the mouse to puppeteer the change in the nostril area. All right. Let's clear the selection and select the cheek areas. Preview this. All right. Now record. Make sure I'm on the first frame. Hit record again. And now animate the cheeks. And of course, I don't want to go too extreme. That looks pretty fierce. All right, so now we can close the face puppet window. And just uh, scroll back to the first frame. Hit play, run through it. And now we've used Face Puppet to puppeteer our first animation. So Face Puppet is just one of several ways that iClone allows you to get the job done in a fast, easy way. So here's a look at what it looks like now with the finished animation on the face. Now you have a new method to animate the face without having to sit down and do tedious keyframes.